百六十八センチ、六十一キロ。ユサフサードワーフ。アガコーダー、百七十センチ、六十一キロ。Shadulayev versus Hideo Tokoro. Tokoro comes in as a favorite in this one. He is minus 150. Shadulayev at plus 120. And here we go. Dream in 2011 early takedown. Quick start to this one already, Mike. Yeah, I mean, with Tokoro, you never get a slow start. He came out with a flying knee, and, and uh, Yusuf was able to capitalize on it and grabbed him in a double leg. Shadulayev takes the back standing here of Tokoro. Tokoro, a master of submission. 17 of his 30 wins have come via sub. That's one of the interesting things here, Michael, is that Sadalayev said he was going to come out and try to take Tokoro down, which Tokoro was surprised by. Sadalayev said, yeah, he's a good striker. And Tokoro said, well, you know, more of a submission guy. Oh, puts him on top of his head. Pounds away. Tokoro is out. He's, he's out. out. No, he's out. Wow. How he's out. He knocked him out. He put him on top of his head. <laughs> and Tokoro went to sleep. That was just... Vicious. Whoa. Somewhere Gerald Harris is watching this and going, hey, I'm the only one supposed to be knocking people out with slams. I mean, that was a that was a powerful slam right on his face. I mean, Tokoro went head first. Oh, Sadulayev, now the uh, reserve fighter. But what a way to do it without raising a sweat, really. And my word, Tokoro is in a bad way here. We'll yeah, see I mean, the replay here in a moment, but he got put right on the top of his head. Yeah, I mean, he slammed it right on, and, you know, I mean, it's New Year's Eve, nobody wants to have a headache. I feel bad for Tokoro, but... Oh, I'm gonna have a headache, let's go a liter of champagne in you. Look at that, straight on the forehead, he was out cold. Yeah, he was out from, from the beginning. Referee a little slow on the uptake there, we saw it. The referee was still looking on here. Sadalayev knew he was out cold. And finally, the ref dove in, and... Well, Tokoro still astral traveling here in the ring. Let's take a look once more. No, I mean straight right on his head. And, and you know what? Uh, Tokoro was out so badly. That, you know, sometimes you go out and then you get punched. It actually wakes you back up and you can come back into the fight. In this case, I mean, Tokoro was out cold. I'm actually a little surprised that ref was a little slow on stopping the fight. It should have really been a little bit more on top of the action there. But, I mean, you know, there's not much to say about this fight. Tokoro really should have come out a little more carefully and been able to establish his stand-up game, which he was definitely had an advantage over, but instead he just came out and started engaging, and this happened. A whole body just going limp there of Hideo Tokoro. Wow, the man who recently married to a former model, and who actually considered retirement after a terrible 2010, where he went one and two, was finished twice. Undefeated in 2011 to drop it in bantamweight, but uh, what's this gonna do for Tokoro here, Hans? Uh, you know, I mean, he was, he already, he lost the, actually the first, uh, the, the last round in the tournament, uh, his first defeat in 2011, so he, you know, that's why he was a reservist here. Uh, he, he would have liked to get a win here and, and kind of get some face back, but obviously this is not how he planned it. You know, this is so bad, they brought the stretcher into the ring, which is not seen often. Sokoro is still gone here. Well, I think what they're concerned with is a neck injury because, you know, when his head, when the top of his head hit, also his neck went sideways. And, you know, they're just, I think they're just being a little more precautious than, than, than really warranted. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Just trying to get a glance through the massive horde of paparazzi around the ring. And you can see Tokoro still in a very bad way here. Has come around. He is talking, but look how rigid that neck is. They are keeping it perfectly straight. The ice underneath the back of the head, the back of the neck. They're going to get him onto that stretcher and get him into the waiting ambulance, take him straight to the hospital. Not yeah, he's probably going to get a neck x-ray and, oh, you know, and they're going to bury him. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with him. You know, we wish him all the best. I mean, like I said, nobody wants to spend New Year's Eve in a hospital with a neck injury, but, you know, unfortunately these kind of things happen in combat sports. It's just part of the sport. Sokoro in pain here. Meanwhile, came in as the underdog in that one, but uh, Yusuf Sadolayev 